You may have seen the episode where we made the mold. Now it's time to make up these awesome little bubbling pits. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here. So this week I've got a fun project. I am taking the molds that we made on the previous episode, uh, the bubbling pits, and I'm going to run some casts and then I will be painting them up but in particular I am doing three different paint schemes to show how you can take the same mold and get entirely different effects. So with our casts of Merlin's Magic Plaster coming out, we're going to allow these to fully cure and then we'll be able to paint directly over top of these. There's no primer required with this type of dental plaster. So as I mentioned, we're going to be doing three different paint schemes, so I have three sets of these plaster pieces made. Our first process is to add a little black base coat to some of them. Now I'm going to be taking the second set and entirely base coating them in white. For our third set, I'm going to be using Porcone Paints cardboard to base coat the outside edges of these. And if you haven't figured it out by now, we have one set which is going to be lava, one set which is going to be an underdark theme acid pool, and one set which is going to be painted in my classic cave colors. So for my underdark themed pieces, I'm using dioxazine purple, but initially I thought that I could just do the purple straight over the black and I found that there wasn't enough contrast for my taste. So I did wind up mixing a little bit of Porcone Paints white in with that. Uh, this is just a dry brush over the whole piece and I thought that the mix of these two colors made a perfect uh, piece.
Now we'll let the underdark pieces dry a little bit and work on our lava pieces. I'm using Hansa Medium Yellow by Golden uh, to just simply fill in the lava pools and the drips and I will also uh, add some streaks down the side to make it look like lava is running down these pieces. Now back to our underdark pieces. I'm gonna be painting these pools to look like neon green acid. So I thought that I would base coat these in white and just like we did with the lava pieces, I'm gonna add some streaks down the side to make it look like the acid is overflowing out of these pools. Our classic cave pieces are ready for the wash. For that I use Quickie Shoe Polish uh, and this is just their brown. Moving back over to our underdark pieces, I'm using a new Porconi Paints color called Arcane Acid, which is this bright, vivid neon yellow, and it really sets these pieces off. My classic cave pieces get their next step with a dry brush of the Cavern Dry Brush. Now when you do a dry brush you want to make sure and get almost everything off of your brush. And it's always nice to have a piece that you've already done to compare to to make sure that you're getting this exactly where you want it.
For my underdark pieces, I'll be using Porconi Paint's Sissel Silver, which is a new color that they just came out with. It's a basic metallic silver, so you could substitute substitute this for whatever you have on hand. But this worked pretty well. I did wind up going back over this with a second coat just to give it a little more pop. Now here's where the magic's going to happen on our lava pieces. I'm using Golden's Napathol Red. It's a transparent color and I'll be going over a good portion of the piece with that, especially outlining the edges of both the pool and the runs that are happening down the sides. And I'll also be mixing in a little bit of that same golden Hansa yellow that we used as a base coat to kind of allow it to blend into some oranges. The messier and sloppier you get with this, the better it's actually going to look. To finish out our cave pieces, we'll be using Shallow Water Seaweed Green by Porconi Paints. This green actually looks pretty good to use as a slimy water coat and I think that it accents these pieces really well. And our last step on the lava pieces is going to be to base coat everything in black and then once the black dries we will do a little bit of a dry brush with a gray just to bring out some of the texture.
I definitely think these lava pieces are my favorites, even if they do prove to be a little risky. The whole point of doing this video was to show how you can take the same castings and get entirely different looks by how you paint it. From our classic cave tiles to a brand new arcane acid underdark pool to the epic lava pools. You can get entirely different looks just by changing how you paint the piece. I hope this inspires you to try alternate paint schemes on your pieces. Hey, if you like these videos and want to help me keep making them, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.